talking to Dave Kirpin, the CEO of Likeable Media, about how getting likes on Facebook isn't that different than being likable in real life. Thanks for being here today, Dave. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, I'm a big fan of Canada. Awesome. So we all want to be liked. It's a general consensus. But being likable online is a completely different story. So what does it mean to be likable in the digital world? Well, you know, it's funny. I actually think that being likable in the digital world is pretty similar to being likable in the offline world. But the problem is, is that um, businesses early on in the days of the web were focused not on being likable, but on clicks and click-through rates and things that um, aren't the same as being likable offline. So, so when, I, when I talk about being likable, I talk about a cocktail party. Social media is just like the world's biggest cocktail party. So just like the likable people at a cocktail party are people that listen, tell great stories, are authentic, um, are responsive, those are the same types of behaviors that, that help you be likable o- online, on Facebook, on Twitter. And, the, and, and people that can get that down and businesses that can get that down can be really successful. So how can companies be successful through being likable online? Why is it necessary for companies to be likable online? Consumers have more choices than ever before. And certainly on social networks, um, if you're a business out there, you're not competing just with other businesses. You're competing with other people's friends. You know, the average person has 150 friends on Facebook. If you're a business, again, you're not just competing with your, your competitors in business. You're competing with each one of your fans' friends for their attention. So if you're going to get their attention, you know, it's not about selling them. It's about being likable. It's about entertaining them. It's about educating them. It's about teaching them. It's about being responsive to their needs and providing great value for them. That's what it's all about. Okay, so let's get even more specific. What are the most important techniques that people can use in social media marketing? So I would say um, first ask questions. Ask a lot of questions because if you ask a question, you're going to get an answer and you're going to start a conversation, which is really important. Um, Second, I would say listen. Take advantage of the unbelievable amount of data there is um, to listen to what your prospects are saying, to what your competitors are saying, to what your um, your staff is saying for larger companies out there. You know, use it to listen. Um, and third, um, share a lot of multimedia. Share pictures. Share videos. There's a reason that Pinterest and Instagram have grown so much so quickly. People like pictures and videos more than text. So think about yourself as a publisher more than as a marketer um, and, and, and share great pictures and videos. Okay. So how much time and resources should be put into your company's social media? So I'm a little biased because I have a social media marketing company, but ultimately I think every company should spend about 20% of their total marketing budget on social media activities, whether that's hours and, and, and staff people uh, or, 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 or budget dollars or both. So there are millions of pages populating Facebook, so it's not easy to be seen amongst the crowd. However, some companies have thousands of likes and some can barely even get noticed. So how can people use Facebook, for example, to leverage their company on online? Well, Facebook has something that not a lot of people know about that's really, really important here. It's called edge rank. And edge rank um, is what determines what shows up in people's news feeds. Now, if you can share content that generates likes and comments, then you're going to get seen on Facebook, even if you don't have a lot of fans. But on the other hand, if you have a lot of fans, but you share content that's not likable, if you share content that doesn't generate comments and likes and shares, then it won't appear in people's news feeds and you won't win. So again, it's all about really great content. Okay. And last question, how can companies gauge their return from social media marketing? Ultimately, you know, you should be tracking sales, you should be tracking leads, You should be tracking sentiment and you should be tracking uh, customer frequency and customer loyalty. Those are all ways that you can track uh, to see how well you're doing uh, in social media and whether it's worth your efforts. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks so much for having me. And you, you all have a super likable day. Thank you. I will try. For more information on likable media, go to cadella.com.